We're going to be talking about the Unreal Engine 5. So you guys might have seen this viral video that has been going around of a video that seemingly looks real until uh, something crazy happens and then it's finally revealed that it's actually an engine. So uh, the, vi the viral video showcases what appears to be phone camera footage of a Japanese train station during the day. Uh, you just see it, someone looking around, you hear the cicadas in the background. Uh, it looks like a normal phone video. Suddenly, the setting changes. It goes from day to night almost instantly in an uncanny valley-like manner. Uh, it's very strange, and that's kind of the giveaway that it's not real. Uh, apparently, this footage was rendered in Unreal Engine 5, and that shit looks insane. Josh, what do you think of this clip? What does this mean for the future of games? And uh, do you have any thoughts? So... First of all, I think it looks awesome. And I've been ex I've been on the hype train for Unreal Engine 5 just to see how it's used and implemented, right? From the first time they kind of showed off the Nanite technology and it, you know, stuff rendering an engine with that demo, you know, almost a year ago, I think at this point. I have been excited to see what Unreal Engine 5 can do. So, I'm excited for it. I have three things that I want to hit on. Okay. First of all, four things. First of all, this blew up virally. Yeah. Like Jeff Keighley picked it up, like a million people picked it up, and that's great. I don't know who made this or where the source is originally. I don't even know if that's been confirmed, and we don't. I don't think we have that information. Uh, we found it on Reddit. I don't, I don't. I don't know any of that stuff. The hint for me that made it unreal was actually no pun intended. Where I was like, even before it cut, where I was like, eh, this looks. Like, great. It looks great, but I can still tell it's a video game. Was there's like a shot during the day where they're looking up the stairs or whatever. The only mm -hmm. thing that gave it away from me was like the shadowing on certain things looked almost too crisp. Okay. Um, I don't know. Almost Not like blurry enough. Oh, yeah. Almost like there was like no ambient occlusion in some areas, um, which made it, I don't know, just trigger something in my brain. I still think it looks good. Anyway, you have anything to say about those two points before I get into the other two that I think are more important? No, I didn't pick up on it. I thought it was real until it switched, but gotcha. that's a good good catch. Um, the, what the fuck was I going to say? Oh, here's actually the credit behind us now. It just came up at the end of this video. Nice. Um, what was I just going to say? Horror game. Horror game, yes. Thank you. Uh, I think specifically when it cuts to the <clears throat> nighttime i'm excited to see where this could what this could mean for horror games atmospherically because it's very they do a great job of creating an atmosphere there at night particularly uh it's scary other, without anything happening exactly like, i was actually like afraid i was like oh shit is something about to happen and nothing happens yeah the other thing i thought of too is i, I mean i don't know if that was a edited cut or if that's happening in engine like live cut or whatever it is but my brain also goes to like titanfall and like things titanfall 2 specifically we we're cutting back and forth between worlds ratchet and clank all this different stuff and the ability to instantly render uh super high fidelity environments and detailed environments like this instantaneously makes my mind just fucking turn and spin with what it could do with horror or games in general um and yeah i don't know yeah, no, I, I agree with you. Like I said, I, I was watching it and I was like, honestly, I was getting like found footage movie vibes at first. I was like, oh, what is this? And then it cuts the dark and I was like, oh, it is a found footage, you know, movie or something. And then yeah. I was like, wait, this is a, this is not this is CGI. This isn't real. Yeah, um, it, it's it's insane. And yeah, I, I just thinking about the potential for a horror game rendered like this. I'm ready, dude. Give me Kojima. Bring him out. Come on, even though it won't be in this engine. Yeah, Kojima's not using Unreal 5. Yeah, um, but uh, yeah, even the camera shake was like I was real. Just, I, I, I was just going to say, they did a great job with selling the camera. Yeah, it looked like found footage, man. Yeah, they did a really nice job. So the I'm ready for games with Unreal 5. I'm ready for I still have one reservation. Doesn't impact me too much, per se, but definitely impacts PC players. So for a long time, uh, I don't know, 
how familiar you are with this, but people complain about it all the time, at least that I've seen with Unreal 4 on PC specifically, and it was an issue with, um, what's it called? With Elden Ring 2, even though it was a different engine. But uh, people have shader compilation issues on PC, which basically means that like when you look at something for the first time in the game, there's like a really bad stutter or hitch because the game has to load all of those assets. So gotcha. it's a really big problem with open world games or really high fidelity, you know, games with really high textured assets and things like that because the computer or Unreal 4 specifically like doesn't preload them or pre-render them. So like the first time you look at something it's bad, but if you reload and go through like it's fixed. It's still an issue with Unreal 4. It still hasn't been ultimately fixed. There's no necessarily inclination that it's going to be an issue with Unreal 5, but there's also been no Unreal 5 releases where it would be an issue. Was um, that except, Matrix demo Unreal 5? Yes, I was going to say, except the Matrix demo, where there's, there were still shader compilation issues with it. That sucks. So that really only impacts people on the PC side of it, but I've seen the impacts of that, and it's really... If I was playing a game on PC and that happened to me, I'd be like, nope, because what do I have to do? I have to go play through the game, the whole game through one time just so it actually runs properly? No. Yeah. No. Not yeah, that's it. not cool. That's so not cool. hopefully they fix that. But regardless, this is really, really slick looking. Yeah. Uh, I either want a horror game or I want like a giant Evangelion robot mm. in the distance at night. Like, I don't know. I just giant monster kaiju game shot like dude, found footage style mm -hmm. game. First person found footage kaiju game. OK, make it real. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to Haptic Intel. Did you do it? Subscribe right now.